Hey guys, how's it going? In this video, we're going to connect the Clanktronic control to VCDS. So this is a climatic control, and you can see that I have it all uh, wired up. It's only running off a of battery now, so I'm going to have loads of fault codes. But what I want to try is to get this display to work. So I have a connection bag come and we're going to go into this one here which is auto HVAC so it's currently going to scan looking for it so this is J here uh, if you have C it's from a Golf and if J it's from a Passat so J is running on CAN bus this is the code that the climatic control is running on so it's 17010. So the first number, we can recode this if we like as well. So there's the code. Now we can recode that to anything we want within reason. So the first number, just the one, is the type of compressor we have. Number seven means it's from Passat. So if that said, one, it's from a Golf, or if it had a four, it'd be from a Polo. But number seven is from a Passat, so we're going to leave it seven. Zero is for Celsius. If you had a two there, it's be Fahrenheit. Zero or one here is for engine map cooling. Not exactly sure what that is. I think it's for the auto control for when it works out your temperature inside the car for your sunlight uh, temperature sensor and a zero here means it will display outside temperature sensor just there where those two little lines are and if that was a one it would not display it but unfortunately, because this is running on CAN bus, I can't recode this very well. So we can tell it that it either has a compressor or doesn't have a compressor. That's not a problem. That's what the 1 does. It is locked on 7. So 7 is CAN bus. And it's from Passat. If it was any other number, I could recode this as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 8. Which is from a Golf or a Polo or a different type of Passat, etc. So... I can, what I can do is I can change the zero here to a two. I'm going to click do it. But first I'm going to show you that it is in C. It did say 21 degrees Celsius. Now it says 70 degrees Fahrenheit. So we can change that back as well. So again, it's going to... Climate control, press record. We can change that two to the zero again. You look down here, and you press do it, and it's back. But this number here has stayed at Celsius. I don't seem to be able to uh, change it to anything. So we're going to try something else. So that was a one or zero. So we're going to change this back to a one which might make a little bit of difference, but we'll see. No. Okay, no difference. Just, we have to rescan it every time that we come out of it. So the codes are going in, but it's not accepting the new code down there to change it to anything else. So just for something different. We'll just try, instead of being in a Passat, let's just say it's from a 4, which is a Polo. That's been changed now to 4. We're going to say do it. No change, unfortunately. And we have to come out of that and we have to go back in and rescan. It 
kept it at a seven. So even though we changed it to a four, it's refused to accept it. So we're gonna try, um, let's change it to one, which is a golf. So that's a golf now. Still no change there. Go back out, rescan. No, it doesn't, it refuses to um, accept the change, so it stayed at Passat. So we can change the compressor to maybe a, not a compressor, and we're going to change the zero to a one, which means do not display outside temperature. Press do it. It's still looking to display outside temperature. Go back out, rescan back in again. And now it's absolutely refusing. So it's just sent back an error of a load of zeros. So we're just gonna recall back what the original one was, which is one, seven, zero, one, zero. So I'm going to tell it to do it. And again, it'll change from Fahrenheit back to Celsius. So I'm gonna press it. All right. Okay. Well, it's not going to work, so it's stuck like that. Um, unless anyone knows how to change it back correctly, I don't think it's going to work. So what I'm pretty sure is in the actual cluster, so like that be the Speedo on the B5.5 Passat is where Canbus lives. And Canbus tells this what to display. It also lights up the illumination. I just have two LEDs at the side. That's why that's glowing red. But um, CANBUS tells it to do whatever outside temperatures are. I can't seem to bypass it. And if I go to CANBUS gateway, it won't work because, of course, I don't have a CANBUS ga uh, gateway there because that lives in the cluster or the dash clocks. So that's only going to receive something from a CANBUS. It's not going to do anything else. I can't talk to CANBUS this way. So unfortunately, that's not going to work. So I do actually have outside temperature wired up. It's um, these gray plugs here. So they're joined together and out the temperature sensor is, is there. I don't know where it is. It's somewhere, oh, there it is. So anyway, it's all wired up. I've checked it all, the wires are all correct, but um, it's not gonna work. So guys, unfortunately I didn't get it to work. So unless you know how to make the light light up or how to make Celsius display, I couldn't get it to work. And I've been messing around with this for ages. I know you can buy a climatic control, they're not very expensive, they're about 20 euros and you can get one from a golf and it'll work perfectly. That wasn't what I was trying to do, I was trying to see if I could get the Passat one to work. So um, unfortunately it didn't work, but um, at least I tried. So I just want to say a really big thank you to everyone that has subscribed, it really means a lot. I'm trying to get up to the thousand mark, so uh, I have still a bit more to go, but I'm getting there. So anyway guys, if you like these videos, don't forget to rate, comment and subscribe. Support me on PayPal if you can. And um, thanks for watching. See you next time.